All right, round three. I think I was black again. Indeed, I was. And round three, I am playing a three dawn. And this is day two, so this is the morning of day two. Nice way to resign is to break the camera. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, we're just playing our normal opening for round three. Yeah, this was a no Comey. It was this was a no Comey game. But at first I thought it was a Comey game. We had to ask the tournament director to make sure. What does it say? Zero stun? But then no no Comey probably, right? Okay. Yeah, so we thought it was an even game. So we took some time to try and figure that out. Oh yeah, Paragrill. This game is exciting. Um, you guys, you guys want to watch this game. This game has a surprise ending too. This game is amazing. You gotta watch this game. Alright, so as Odinus taught me, after they Tiger's Mouth, I can Tanuki, so I tanuki Because it's a 3 Don, yeah. Oh, I get in a little bit of trouble here because I don't know these variations. Got in a little bit of trouble here. But it worked out. Well, you'll see. You'll see. Let's just watch. So yeah, after this, since I don't know the variations, I was freaking out a little bit. That pincer is such a 3 dawn move to play. <laughs> right? So I, I was like, I'm just gonna live in the corner, I'll be okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. E18 instead of F16? F16. E... Oh, yeah, that makes more sense, right? And then they Hane, we Hane, they Hane back, whatever, all that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That seems more reasonable. I just, I simply don't know the variations. I still don't know the variations. Is this Saki says? Pretty sure this is Joseki. Okay, well. I must have stumbled on Joseki then. Must have stumbled on the Joseki. Played it fine so far? Right on. At this point, I think my next move feels like a mistake, because I played C13, and that didn't feel right. Arden played this in the last- in the last taggle the other day? Interesting. Oh no, I back off because I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, that's what I did. I was scared. Because they had, like, what was I expecting? Uh, right. I was expecting them to play like this into this, but that doesn't really work, so. Yeah. C18 is sort of wrong, but not game ending, yeah.
Another pincer, this is fine. So Adna sent me a variation for this, uh, today. So of course we play there. And Adna wanted me to play this one instead, instead of the old school one. Because it gives me more options eventually, so. I'll have to remember this B3 drop down instead of F2 is interesting. C16, I could go G17 or G18. Aha. G, 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 G. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense, is this Saki? Black is behind after the upper left, but not by a lot, I think. The push up is your go to? Okay. You like F4? Oh, that one. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. This one, F4. So I decided to reduce this right away, even though maybe it's bigger to approach over here. Why not F2 at F4? Uh, it leaves a lot of Aji here. Yeah, Adna suggested B3 instead of F2. Um, because it turns out, like, white will block, and then you can push this direction. And they have to kind of follow, and then you can Hane at H2. So it leaves you inroads over here, it leaves you inroads over here if they ignore. F4 gang out in force today, yeah. Black may lose the corner, correct, yeah. I just stuck with what I knew. So I knew, I knew the F2 variation, so I just stuck with it. I don't really know the F4 variations. And so I was considering all kinds of things from black here. Uh, but I felt this was a good placement. I was kind of expecting this type of thing. But this is probably too good for black, because black has an easy time getting out. Uh, otherwise, I was kind of expecting this kind of thing, and just a jump out. This seems to make sense, and I was really hoping to use these stones... Oop. I was hoping to use these upper left stones as Aji to attack these. Like, if black takes a big move here instead, you know, something like this. Then maybe I can come out and come out this way. Yeah, the game is quite even. Quite even. Um, so I was kind of hoping for a variation like this. So they, they kind of played into what I wanted. I don't know if what I wanted is good, but that's how they played into it. Three and a half corners, for sure. White's ahead, but not by much? Yeah. Could be. Could be. AI has us pretty dead even. Like, it stayed within one or two points for quite a long time in this game. If you don't give white the upper right corner, you have to resign. <laughs> So yeah, uh, basically, they saw exactly what I saw. So I was like, you know, if they play away, maybe I can come out. Play away, wherever. I can come out here. And they're like, I don't want that to happen. So they gave me Sente in this exchange. That felt good that they had played all of these stones to capture two stones. So I got Sente to take the vital point on the on the right-hand side. So this feels good, 
Good for me. Good for me. G15 felt slow, but I understand why they did it. Why do people still play Q7? Black gets so many options. I don't know. I'm not sure why they still do. Yeah. Black gets so many options. Plus, I can just straight up to Nuki, so... Now that they dropped down, though, um, I was feeling like it was a good idea to... to finish this corner off. So I think that's what I did. And then they're going to have to spend a bunch of moves to surround R8 now. Which I felt good about. I felt good about that. Not to mention that you can just extend... And even after white fixes, he'll have that object exactly. Is it Saki? That's correct. So what's going on is it was hot. It was like 99 degrees that day, or 97 degrees. And there, there were these huge industrial fans in the space. No air conditioning, just fans. So those are blowing directly on my camera. And so the camera's got just enough jitter, enough oscillation to create those patterns. Um, so sorry about that. I know it's not the best video quality, but, um, you know, you work with what you've got, right? You work with the space you have. So yeah, they took this high surround, which is, is fine. Uh, but this felt... <sighs> Well, I mean, they got to do something, right? But my thought is, after, you know, after this, after these exchanges, I'm like, I'm erasing my Aji in the upper right in a really active and natural way now. And so I felt good about this. So let's say they, they do something like this. I get sent again to play wherever I want, right? Maybe... Something like this, you know, maybe poke around in here before I attach and make shape, you know, something. So this was my thought during the game. Yeah, the pattern lines are, it's funny, they're running uh, parallel to the, uh, not parallel, yeah, parallel to the direction of the fan. R12 seems pretty good, yeah. It does so many things at once, so this high back off was very strange. But they, you know, white didn't really have options. Honestly, I expected, I expected, um... S11 instead here. But S10 is just fine. So S10 makes me feel like I really want to come out. And just, just build my upper right. Quickly. Kind of fast, kind of strong, you know? But then again, P12 might be a little bit slow on this board. Especially since I have a weak group on the left. So it was, it was tough for me to decide what to do. S10 is painful to play. Yeah, that was my thought. I mean, they're investing... They're investing just so many stones to capture this. S10 settles him. By this point, I'd want to get defending the left. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, S10 is a good move. But, like, this is kind of a sad position for white, in my opinion.
But I was just like, I'm just going to make a big, strong shape up here. But yeah, I should have... I should have worked on the left-hand side, as we'll see in a hot second. I like the cap here. It took me a long time to decide what... Or I felt like it took a long time to decide what, what I wanted to do. And then my plan changed a little bit as we went. You can still peep at P8 like an absolute Chad. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. I just wanted to leave that nugget of Aji there for a while. I, th I felt that was good enough. So yeah, I actually read out lots of variations, put all the stones in my brain for several variations in this area. Um, and came up with a plan that worked pretty well. Worked pretty well. Keeping in mind that, you know, the, the saying is Sabaki begins with an attach. By the way, when you got two fourth line stones side by side like that, the attach under can often be good. Especially if you are looking to settle like in this situation. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yep. But, you know, I was reading I was reading that out just to make sure, right? Just to make sure. And coming up with a plan. I mean C8. Yep. Yep. The first thing I was actually considering, though, was something like H11 or an attach on top at E12 to come out and split the split the capping stone. But then I was like, maybe I can just maybe I can just um, live on the side, right, with an attach. And then I also saw I can also attach at C12 and maybe connect to the upper left. Sabaki so starts with one of six possible attachments. Yeah. Aha, you did it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have I have 12 possible attachments. I have got these four, I've got these four, and I've got these four. All of those could create a sabaki sabaki situation for me. I was also trying to figure out if I cut here, you know, if I could make a situation where I would have had all of these, and then I can push out and cut, and then push this out as well. So I was trying to, I was trying to find a way to use the Aji of these stones even more. Because this attach on the inside is also, I mean the attach at D13 is also often a way to play when you have a stone like D10. Just because there's so many ways to Hane and Atari. And I don't know if I came up with the best solution here. But, you know, it'll play out. We'll see what happened. But yeah, ultimately I was worried about something like this. And I was expecting this kind of thing to happen. But they honeyed they honeyed on the outside, which is reasonable. Because if if I just draw back, then I'm in just as much danger, right? I can still cut here. And this would actually just live. So they probably won't play that way. 
Uh, how will they play instead? Maybe draw back. Black takes, but they still don't really... You know, black only has one eye still. Or not even a whole eye. So something like this would be pretty difficult for black. And I don't have... You know, this direction isn't very available to me. So that's also a possible. So I decided to treat that one stone lightly and maybe use it to come back to. Because my thought was, if I attach here and they Hane, and I draw back, you know, they're going to have to... They're going to have to block, and then I can play like this to create a nice size eye shape here. That was kind of my thought. Or I was also considering the Hane, and then we, we counter Hane like this. And what does that look like? You know, after something like this? Then we cut, and this is good for us, right? Maybe. Well, we have this double Atari, at least. Oh, maybe this doesn't work for us, actually. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, we get, like... No, they would take. Great. And then we, we get that for free. And then we can jump out. I mean, that, that would be okay-ish. I don't know. But I did attach. I did attach. What happens when they play on the inside again? Uh, this would be okay. Yeah, cut from the inside. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I was envisioning connecting to my upper left some way or another. Usually the right extend back is right, but not sure. Oh, yeah. Right, right. So, something like this. But I mean, that's still not really alive. <laughs> like, if we do something like this and white just plays here, can I live? Can I live with this? Usually C9 is correct. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, right, right. I see what you mean. Yeah, I just felt white is very strong all around. And I was reading that they could they could trap me inside. So yeah, I'm modifying my plan slightly now. The main danger is that white somehow manages to kill the corner, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a big reason why I modified my plan. Um, basically, the, the whole point of these stones was to make sure this didn't become a huge moyo. And if I play this way, you know, they connect in... You know, I connect, they connect, so it's sente. And then I can push, and even push again in sente, and then I can play away. So that's... That's the plan I decided to go with. So basically, we've made this not a huge moyo. All they have is kind of a wall, and it's open on all sides, so they get no points. I've turned I've turned all of their potential moyo into dame, it felt like. So I felt good about this. I felt good about this. But I'm, I'm still reading just to make sure. Just to make sure what I think works, works.
And it seems like these second line moves are painful, but there are, I think the timing is right. So I just sacrificed two stones. And I erase, I erase most of what white could have had. Felt good. And I decided to treat this stone lightly. Um, and play away, but I can't remember where I played away to. It was probably something a little too far, like up here. I think maybe this would have been fine. Maybe this would have been fine. Uh, any of those. But the game is still super close. Getting less close. So yeah, that's a little too far. This stone really should have been one in. I don't know, we can do like a count. White has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and these aren't solid points. 16, 17, 18 pairs total. Black has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, maybe 28, 29, 30 pairs. So yeah, as far as like territory points are concerned, I'm, I'm a fair ways ahead. That's At least that's how I was evaluating the board. But AI has, it, has the percentages very close right now. But yeah, this stone is too far. It should have just been two. A two space jump would have been fine for what I was going for. Like it just invites white to to use the Aji in this area, right? It's like, oh white, please, please just jump into my corner. I would love that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? But you know me, I like to start fights. I, I'm not I'm not gonna shy away from a good old fight. Skip C9 and cap N12. C9. Ah, yeah. Maybe. So yeah, this is the type of move you play when you're really strong all around, but there is Aji that White can exploit here, so maybe this wasn't correct. And of course, my heart's pounding this whole game because I'm playing a three don, and this is my first tournament as a one don, and like, you know, I'm just, I'm really trying to do my best, and you know, maybe I'll win, but I'll probably lose, and, but you know, I'm gonna do my best, and you know, I'm, I've reached four don on Fox before, and when I'm at my best, I can probably handle a three don, and all these thoughts are racing, I'm just trying to stay calm, focus on the board, um, yeah, it's, it's challenging. But I'm looking, 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 like, after this, if white plays here, it's kind of annoying, we come out, but they take the whole corner, right? Something like this. Is it enough? Do I have enough? You know what I mean? Oh, there they go. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. How did I play? I think I blocked this way. Because my evaluation was, even if they capture this stone, they're only going to have one eye up here. So I was hoping I could kill them on a large scale. Might be optimistic. 
You feel like white is quite ahead. Huh. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But I, I feel like when I looked at the graph, it stayed even quite a while. I, I can look real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me see if I can just... Find where we're at. Oh, I'm, I'm a poopy liar. You're right. About here... It says white by 16.9, and uh, percentage-wise, it's giving white 99%. My bad. For some reason, I thought it said we were even. Uh-huh. My mistake. Yeah, it's evaluating white ahead by 10 to 10 to 15 here. Right at this point in the game. Yeah, 16.9 right here. And uh 99% for white. Cuz black has a lot of second line stuff and small corner and an undercut stones. Yeah. Uh-huh. You are correct, Juco man. Well, let's see the comeback. Yeah, let's see the comeback. Now that we know that, the white is supposed to win this game. <laughs> How did I win this? <laughs> oh, sorry y'all, it looks like I'm dropping some frames for some reason. Not sure why that's happening. What's up, Baze underscore? How you doing? I know I don't usually stream on Tuesdays. Specifically not at this time of day. But I took a week off, and, uh... Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to show... Wanted to show my games from last week. Review them with y'all. Alright, so now after this... I was actually expecting something like this. But, you know, that's clearly not good enough. So white attached on top instead. And I had trouble deciding what to do. But I felt like just removing their eye space would be enough. Because now they're starting to be surrounded with no base, right? So if I remember right, I decided to do this, this kind of variation. And actually, Atari there is probably wrong. Probably I should have done this one first. Because, uh, after this, they, they got a bunch of forcing moves on the outside for some eye shape. So, yeah. That may have been wrong, what I did. At least as far as the Atari. Should have been Atari Q18. So yeah, Q Q16 might have been a greedy move. But the whole time, I mean, 
White has this type of thing, which is what I was worried about. Yeah, so they could they could get out this way, right? Pretty easy. Just like that. So I would have to come up with some some other different kind of variation, right? Maybe I play this way instead. It's tough. It's tough. Maybe I, I sack some stones, right? Something like this. That might work. That might work. Not sure. Why should fight with such power? Yeah. So yeah, this, this Atari of mine was bad because they got these forcing moves. I should have just atari from under. Would have been fine. Because now they have half an eye up here and they have half an eye here. Plus, I have, like, thinness, like, weakness around this area. It's very challenging. Very challenging. Yep. <laughs> when they played there, I was like, yep, if I was white, I'd play there too. I was kind of expecting... I was kind of expecting this exchange first. Or maybe an attach here or something. Uh, but coming out and wrecking what I was hoping to, to achieve here, that makes, that makes a lot of sense to me. Plus, they're isolating the, uh, the K-17 stones. Or L14 stones, however you want to look at it. Did I just play? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. So normally in a situation like this, I would play Mary 12, but I think I read that I had fewer weaknesses with just the Kos Kosumi. Yeah, because Mary 12 has, has the attach problem we just went over. Right. So like, like we went over, you know, it's like this, and this, and this, and this, and then the cut, and there's, there's issues, right? There's issues. You know, there's that push, and then there's the Atari, right? And then this. So I read that out, and I was like, okay. So I tried to figure out the Kosumi, so that goes more... Oop. That goes more like... More like this if they try to get out, and there's not an immediate... Like, there's an immediate cut here. But that's okay, because... Because of this type of thing, right? So if they do this, we just go back, sacrifice one stone, and then still cut them off. Yeah? That Panuki in the center would be would be bad, but I connect these weak stones to my other group and kill their top, which would have been good. Um, so that's why I played the Kosumi instead, because I have that kind of option. Um, but, and I think they did take that push, but I think they played, I think they played like an eye-making move first. So I played like this way, and then they did something like this. Because now they're making, like, big eye shape in here, right? Plus they have a potential eye on the bottom. Not sure this is bad for white. This is not bad for white. It's not bad for white. 
So much stronger IRL than on Fox. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a serious game, Bug Kitten. I, I was there to win. I was there to win. I was there to win. You know. So, you know, I took my I took as much time as I could. White does not die here. This game has a surprise ending, y'all. This game is one you got to see to the end. I shouldn't have spoiled that they 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 don't die here, but yeah. Yeah, this is this is exactly what we talked about, right? They're playing that shape move at P14. It's pretty tough to deal with. Uh, and I'm wondering how I can kill them now. I was pretty confident that I could surround and kill them before, and now I'm not confident at all. So yeah, that Atari Q16 really, really ruined me. Really wrecked my shapes here. So I play this kind of move because it's forcing. Because... Right? Because if they try to do, you know, something like this, then I have this kind of... Oops. Excuse me. If they try to do something like this, then I have this kind of move, right? They block, and then I have this kind of move, and now they have the dead shape. Oh, but they have this, yeah. So they just kind of took care of that right away. And then, of course, I have to connect somehow. Because these two stones are super weak. Oh, gosh, this was a nail biter. And I don't know, maybe I should have read out, like, if I do this kind of push now. And, you know, take their stone and they push out and we block and they cut. Do we win the capture race between the groups? I don't think we do. Because white's too strong over here. White has forcing moves over here and Hanes and such. Yeah. So I just had to connect. I just had to. Now, I don't know if this is better than just the solid connection. I felt like it was at the time. But this kind of thing, like, lets White peep here if they need to. So it might be too fancy. Like, maybe just the solid connection was better. Might feel a little better, actually. It also gives more Aji, like, if white bumps up against it, right? So yeah, I think the solid connection was better. Too fancy. Yeah, White's pretty much already alive. Now I ask for a little bit more, and I'm not entirely sure that this sequence worked for them. So I wanna... We're gonna wait for a couple of moves, and then I'm gonna pause the video really quick. Alright, let's... Let's pause this. Just for... Just for a second. This is... This isn't gonna happen too often. But I played here, and they played there. And I've been having a heck of a time figuring out if I should push here or not. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Never mind. Good to know. Alright, continue on. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, white is uncondi white is alive, but I still have some I still have some some moves to create the Aji, right? So this was interesting, too, that the three Don just kept playing moves that, you know, got what they wanted, but always asked for a little more in the process. This was very informative to me. Like, they could have just connected or whatever, but they always pushed for just a little bit more. And either way, this was Gote for me. Cheeky life and send cheeky life and sente succeed. They succeeded their life and sente. Dang it. The worst part is. Yeah, here we go. Now I have a weak group on the board that I have to save, somehow. Q9? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have to S15? No ish. Like, if White cut these off, cut these off, it would be kind of annoying, was my thought. But you're right, I didn't have to. So I think this was a slow move since White's already alive. Um, so I got to play away. And now we start to see how I'm coming back into the game. Oh, it's tricky though. Like this move. So tricky. Such a trick. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they have to block this way, and then we can Atari, right? Yeah, this is how this went. Black doesn't have that much cash? I have four corners, Bug Kitten! Thank you.
And now I took a little time, and you'll notice... The ladder works for Daniel. Do 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 ladder works for Daniel. Do do and he saw it too. That's why he played there. <laughs> now if I play here and then the cut, what happens? Do do do. Do 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 Does the ladder work for Daniel? It does. Lol. I thought this was gonna end with him misreading the ladder. That would be freaking amazing. And again. Ladder works for Daniel. Every move I make. I was also trying to read out, like, can I just whoop? Can I just net? Right? So this is something I was really considering. Can we just do this? And my conclusion was I can't, right? Because of something like this, right? Even with the squeeze, we can't really just net. So I kept reading the net out. But yeah, just, just Hane is enough. Hane is enough. But yeah, I kept trying to figure out this net. But anyway, my thought was that I'm building this lower side now. Um, while saving these stones. So this felt good to me. These exchanges felt good. I'm like loosely connecting these stones together while also building the bottom side. Uh, not bad, right? Not bad. Yeah, we're... Yo, the analysis software on top of the real board looks so cool. Thanks, Unit 27. He's not just going to pee. Yes. Yes, he will. Yes. He cuts right away, actually. But, my dear friends, this stone is calling to me during this game now. This stone is like, hey, look at me, I'm a stone here. I'm, I'm not doing much, but I'm doing something. And uh, so what? I, my, my sincerest hope is that I get to push out here and, like, cut all of these off. At this point, from this point in the game forward, that is my sincerest hope. But yeah, we, we pretty much fixed this ladder issue with uh, Mary 6. Sona's like, I'm here! Exactly, exactly. And 11? Oh yeah. No, it's not too bad. So, White's playing in between my two groups, which makes sense, right? <laughs> I am a stone. <laughs> yeah, this little guy's like, hey, look at me.
Why is falling apart? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Like this stone is uh, like it's not strong, right? And this push is painful. Basically, why just let me connect for free? Do they cut here right away? Because if they do, I can just play here and capture the whole thing, right? Well, no, they have this kind of... Well, no, I don't play there first. I play here first. They have to come out, and then I, then I trap them, right? So they're looking at that. That's why they play this peep first. And here comes my ultimate Chad move. Oh, no. Never mind. Not this one. So, of course, I'm still threatening to capture these two white stones. So they have to connect. Oh, maybe it's not this. But I'm pretty sure I play... What do I play here? It seems like I have to connect, right? Do I just play this way? No, that seems too light. Mary 4 if they cut. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am totally looking at the Mary 4 stones. But this cut, Aji, I think is bothering me quite a lot. Pretty sure I don't just connect, though. So this resolves my cut, right? Because I can just nat after that. Like so? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I just bamboo. No! Oh my gosh, I forgot about this! <laughs> right, right, right. So now, if they cut... You know, we go for this, they have to extend, and then we play here. Does this work for me? This doesn't work. Does it? Hmm. This didn't actually work for me. Or, at this point, they can just push through, right? How did I get away with this? Oh, is it because- oh, right, 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 right. So now if they cut... Oop. We do this... oh, wait, no. They cut, we do this, they do this, we do this, they do this, then we connect. They have to play here, and here, and now it's a semi-eye? Yeah, 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 I think that's what I was thinking. This seems like what I was thinking here. Yeah, it's so complicated right now, y'all. So complicated. So, right, they extended here because that solves at least some of their problems. And now I'm thinking if I play here, and they connect back, and then play here, you know, maybe something like this, then we can connect. It's just tough. It's tough. Oh, right. That one's bad. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this, right? Oh, this works for them, though. Hmm. Complicated. Right, so it's this, 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 maybe? Because we're focusing on this now? Tough. Tough to say. Not sure. At the very least, I get eye shape in this area over here.
Yeah, let's see what they do. Or let's see what I do. I might just straight up play here. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, bamboo's bamboo is really the only one because it gives me eye shape in this area, and it also threatens these. I think that was my thought anyway. And it also threatens the bottom ones. So yeah, they're taking care of that, Aji. Because we're kind of focused on that area right now. Which I think was wrong. I think they should have played, like, K3. And let me fight it, fight it out and fail in that area. I mean, the right-hand side. So yeah, now I'm... Now I'm connecting all my groups together, feeling good. This is right around where the game starts to turn, back in my favor, I believe. But still behind, still behind. Black is still behind. J7 for white. Uh, J7 doesn't really work. So if they J7, we just, we just, uh, net. Longest day of the year, 10 p.m. and there's still some light. Oh, it is, it is the summer solstice. Yeah, we just net. They can't really come out. They can Atari here, but that still doesn't let them out, right? So yep, during their reading time, I had been reading this out, and this just works for me. I think they thought I would try and ladder it to the left, but I laddered it to the right. So yeah, they made a they made a mistake here. Cause now they turn right if if they turn the ladder to the right and I connect, they still only have two liberties. Plus, this gives me an eye for free. So this is pretty good. Pretty good feeling right here. Kind of bamboozled a three dot. <laughs>
No reason not to take. And the piece de resistance is that I play M3 and Sente. After they take, I don't have to follow M3 up. If they Atari down, I just follow down, and if they push again, I just Atari them. So now my groups are all connected. Yep, I get to play anywhere I want now. So where do I play? I go for the bamboozle. <laughs> <laughs> now, this doesn't work as well as I hoped it would. But it works to an extent, and you will see. It works to an extent. Oh, so, so two ways. It works more than I could have hoped, and it doesn't work as well as I hoped it could. <laughs> I was hoping to end the game out right here. Poor Shang, he doesn't usually get destroyed this badly. He didn't get destroyed. Well, he did eventually, but... And all because we had this little stone that was just calling to us. He has like no points. <sighs> yeah, but black... well... Yeah, so we totally erase the left. Not totally. But they have points like in here. And in here, probably. And then a little bit right where his head is. Um, yeah, right now he's really... he took some time. He took some time here. Got his face right up in the stones. Does that help you all? If you put your face close to the stones, does that help you? Yeah, he was like... He was like... Into the stones. I think he's just shocked that this is happening to him. <laughs> exactly, Unit 27. <laughs> you can smell the position. <laughs> It does help me because instead of an angle, I see it straight on like I see it on the computer. Ah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I mean, there's really only one move, right? So after this, this is the only move for white. I knew they were going to play this right away. And I knew it was going to go like this. I thought they were going to Atari right away and it'd be like this. You know? I mean, that's going to be gone. And they're going to erase the liberties on the outside. We're going to do something like this and this. But yeah, that way it doesn't work for white. So white found a way. Sort of. Sort of. The bad Aji smell.
But yeah, he has to use S8 to remove liberties because of the placement of the S10 stone. But he's he's taking some time to calculate that. I was also looking at maybe connecting connecting to my top crew uh, underneath uh, T10 in this position. I was thinking that might be viable. I was gone for five minutes. What happened? Uh, well, I connected my groups through these dead stones. And then I bamboozled him into cutting these stones off temporarily. Temporarily. And now he is trying to figure out if this really works for me or not. Currently White's turn. Yep. Only move. So my thought also is, like, even if this doesn't work, they have to play inside many times. Which is still going to be a reduction, right? It's not just one for one, because every outside stone I place out here is reducing their inside territory. Right, right. So what was I thinking here? I was thinking they were going to play this. We'll take that, and then if they play, like, up here, then we could Hane and start the coal over here. But no, that's not actually a coal, right? Oh, but since we have this coal, then we could play down. So that's why they played this way, to eliminate the coal. They played straight down instead. So I played down to capture. But maybe I should have played here instead. No, that wouldn't have worked at all. Playing down to capture makes sense. Okay, that's Atari, so I have to take. And they should just play on the outside here, right? So I play a move to connect. And so after this, if they played down, and we play down again, then they play this one, we take, and they can't Atari here. So that's why... That's why they can't play down. As you will see, once they're done smelling the board. <laughs> so 
So this is still going to represent a really good reduction for me since I get to connect under a T6 in Svente, is what I'm trying to say. So even though I didn't get to kill their large group, I, it was a significant reduction on white. But here's the key. Black's still like two or three points. It's fine. Do you have to connect there? According to AI, black is still a little bit behind. Yeah. T8. So if I didn't connect there, they could Atari from this side and it's connect and die. So yes. If I wanted to save these two stones, I did have to connect a T8. And those two stones are actually quite large at this point in the game. You see how I only have two liberties on the connected group? So if there wasn't a connection there and they Atari from this side, it'd be connect and die. Maybe not big enough? Not as big as uh, B... B3? Or B4? Then you should play T5 instead. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay. That's fair. You're right. Makes for a smaller threat for white. Ah, I see. Well, we will see whether or not T8 was a moment of wisdom or not later in this game. We will, we will just have to see. Now we're uh, running through some endgame here. And I'm hoping that maybe somehow I can reduce this group to one eye. Maybe. This board is real. This is Greencastle Block. This is a top-down view of uh, my third game in last week's tournament at uh, Burning Board. Uh, ray tracing is on. So yeah, now I took that stone in a very natural way. Which is fun. And so, what I'm hoping is to get a stone around here. For free. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? What's up, Keeps On? <laughs> so, they actually, they actually fixed. They actually fixed. They saw the same thing I did. Now I'm just taking away points. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really not pro 
it's really not possible at this point, is this Saki. And White has forcing moves, like like they're showing us right now. Like they're showing us. Lots of forcing moves. We are reviewing, correct. This is not happening. This is this is last week's video recorded game. I am talking to you live, but the people on the on the board are me playing black, as you can see up there, and Shang H playing as white. So I'm I'm doing uh doing live commentary on a pre recorded game. Fun thing I like to do after tournaments, I like to record, video record my games, and then go over them with Twitch afterwards. Afterwards. And this is, this is a game against a 3-Don that I played last week. How'd the tournament go overall? Uh, it was really a lot of fun. I enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed camping. Um, learn some things from the pro, or at least, you know, listen to some things that were presented in a different way from the pro, uh, that gave lectures in the evening, and I got, uh, first, first place, section A, third in the tournament overall, I won this little trophy and a cash prize, and it was my first tournament as a showdown, so very, very proud, very proud of my uh, how I did in the tournament. White is going to bring themselves into a shortage of liberty situation, aren't they? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe is the stock. Yeah, it might happen. Streamer won. Uh, prize was actually quite nice. It was $110. Uh, which is a good deal less than I spent traveling to North Carolina. But, you know, it it certainly made the, uh, made the trip, uh, less painful, you know, less expensive. So that was, that was nice. That was nice. L nice little cash prize. Really, really did help. That's a bit more than 25, though. Yeah. What's up, the loving son? How you doing? How do you record this? With a video camera above the board! <laughs> That's freaking fantastic! Thanks, Darth Mucus. Um, so yeah, I, I read this out for quite a while. Um, and I was reading a push like this, where I could just draw back. And that should be easy enough, right? And then I was looking at what else white might do. So they might, they might do this. Then I was feeling like, you know, if they if they did this kind of thing, like this would be fine, right? Regardless. And then what else could white do here? They might do this kind of whoop. They might do this kind of jump thing. In which case, I was thinking this would be okay, right? Again, we can just connect this way, but if they, whoop, if they draw back here, we can just connect here. Um, something like that. So yeah, this is, this is a really nice move to reduce so much territory over here. No way, I thought it was your third eye. <laughs> Yep, so I have I have an arm that I can put on a C stand. It's a it's a metal arm. And then at the end it has a connector for a camera that I can just put the camera on and then I can get a nice top down view. It's mainly for like pr product photography or any kind of like over over a board for, over a table photography. Uh but you can use it for video as well. People use it for like food photography. How are you like clicking stones on the video? What is <laughs> So I'm using a custom theme in Sabaki that I created myself um, that lets me that lets me green screen out, you know, like the lines and the board itself. And then uh, 
It lets me, like, you know, put things wherever I want, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a cool little solution I found because, you know, sometimes I'll watch, um, I'll watch Baduke TV, like the Korean, the Korean one, um, on YouTube and they do that. They do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I figured out a solution to do it for myself, for my streams. So I used this, uh, West Michigan Go Club had a couple streams that we, we met at my house and did a live board stream or two. And I used it for that, and uh, for videos like this, I I tend to use that kind of solution. Is that middle right group around dead, alive, or still contested? Uh, white is alive everywhere. White is alive everywhere. Oh, O ten, O ten is definitely alive. So white has an eye around this stone, they have an eye over here. It doesn't matter what black does here. So if like black plays here, white can just play here and they have two eyes, right? If black tries to play here, it's just there's nothing nothing there. Um oh the light changed. Now everything's looking more yellow, so my stones don't quite match, but that's okay. They took a long time thinking this out. Long, long time. That's okay. So this tournament had one hour main time and five by 30 second bio Yomi. So uh, everyone had plenty of time to figure out their moves. Center black group. Uh, center black is connected, 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 connected. All connected. No board on fire. Oh, right. Instinctual reading is very slow, right on. Let's uh let me see, let me get you a nice photo of a board on fire. There you go guys. There you go. It's me sitting behind the actual burning board. You didn't see the two dead white stones. Gotcha, gotcha. It was pretty sweet. It was a really good time, y'all. It was a really good time. I wish more streamers had been there. Uh, but uh, I understand. I understand. It, You know, it was four days of camping in the woods in a cabin. Burning a Goban. They made it just for the just for the fire. So yeah, this, uh, this was easy peasy. Shang did a bit of a misread here. They actually burned a board, yeah. I just showed you the board. Did you not see it here? <laughs> I think they expected me to uh, take a H H5 right away, but I read out that I could do this. If they block, we can actually take these two stones, regardless of what they do, right? So yeah, it all worked out for me. This is going to be like Bootgate 2.0, absolutely. Were there a lot of mosquitoes? No. No, there weren't. Uh, we were near a pond, and the pond had lots and lots of frogs. And so the frogs, the frogs pretty much took care of the bugs. All right, game's game's about to get real. Game's about to get real, y'all.
White stones as marshmallows and black stones as chocolate. Oh, yeah. Black stones as junior mints. Here we go. Gotta do that, right? <laughs> Let's go. So, uh, there's not much left. Oh, there's just some endgame left, right? But, oh, oh, y'all. Blackstone says roll a Oh, yeah. Great TV. You got... That'd be great. That'd be amazing. I don't see how this could get exciting. CQ is about to get real exciting. You just wait. You just wait. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if there's going to be a bamboozle. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, you got to stick around to the very end. You got to stick around for, till the very end. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is not just hype. Not just hype. I don't do that to people. <laughs> the loving son is like, whatever. <laughs> this is basically clickbait now. Okay, there is a bamboozle. Uh, there is a bamboozle and it's amazing. That's all I... I don't want to spoil it. Let me go to bed. Ten minutes. It's less than ten minutes. You got eight minutes left. Here. Let me just make sure. Seven and a half minutes left, okay? Seven and a half minutes. That's it. There's no way anything happens. I promise it's good. It's worth it. <laughs> Dame <Not me> Tumari. <laughs> everyone in everyone in the chat is like, yeah, yeah, your end game is amazing. Whatever, Daniel. You're you're so amazing at this. No, just wait, just wait. I'm telling you. <laughs> this game goes changes in a flash and it starts now
Is White going to lose if they give up two to three stones? They are. This camp is apparently just the beginning of Daniel's villain arc with that laugh. I was kind of a villain during this tournament. So if, if you're just joining, I've, I've told the story where there were a couple of players that I played warm-up games with, you know, before the tournament that day, just to get my brain going, you know? And I, I intentionally played like trash and lost the warm-up games, and then I played them later. Didn't know I was going to play them later. But, you know, just a mild psych attack. Like, so they think I'm trash. Um, and it worked. It worked. It messed with their heads. Won both games. It was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. A little evil. It's only a little, though. Only a little evil. <laughs> so, you know, I think it helped. I think it helped. <laughs> so yeah, now now if they connect, it's going to be Seki best, right? I hit them in the hubris, I did. No, it wouldn't be Seki, though. They would be alive locally. Why don't they just connect? Oh, yeah, it would be. As evil as your laughter. <laughs> okay, now I'm like, I'll take this highway. How about you are responsible for the weather last week? Oh, it was me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Was the three down a kid? Yes. <laughs> you watch this. You watch it. Watch this. Witness me. <laughs> whole group's in it. The whole group over there is an Atari. <laughs> they didn't know that I'd be Atariing them. <laughs> and then I'm like, I played here, buddy. <laughs> oh. oh. You okay? I'm going to place my stone here. Are you answering or not? <laughs> he asked, can I, like, undo that? And I'm like, no, you can't undo that. So, yeah, this was the end of the game. Epic bamboozle. Um... They kind of bamboo. I mean, they clearly misread that this Atari was Sente for them. So, yeah. Quite, quite the turnaround. Quite the turnaround. Oh. So, yeah, that was game three. Pretty proud of it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while we look at these games.